Welcome back to the AI Machine channel. Today I'm quickly gonna go into the new Tensor RT extension that we can play around with inside. Automatic 11 o'clock 11 gives us a little bit of a speed boost or you know about a times two or cuts your speed in half, depending on your settings. It does take a second to get it installed, but once you click these links right here at the top of the article, they'll take you to pages. Give you a setup guide. Basically, you can skip down to step number two, as you would be installing it like an extension in automatic 11 already and then there's a few other things like building the tensor rt engines is how you'll make the clones of the models you already have that you want to put in the tensor rt format but before you do all that you kind of want to do the settings down here and make sure you get this model checkpoint so just make sure you read it thoroughly i would take way too much time going into Way too much detail for this brief introduction where I just want to show and bring up the Tincture RT extension for stable diffusion that we can use inside Stability Matrix which, by the way, have added a nice new browser for the inference mode. If you haven't checked that out already, it's quite good. So for all the pictures that you would work in, the comfy UI inference mode they have a nice browser, now you can go into it. But yeah, I want to talk about the Tensor RT. Stability matrix upkeeping. Keeping the features coming so. Loving the stability matrix. But in here, after you get the Tensor RT installed, and you'll have to, you know, choose a model. Keep everything kind of vanilla. Have a checkpoint or model up here that you want to make a copy of. You go into the Tensor RT for the 1.5 models, which we're demoing today. Um, you can pretty much leave it on default and it'll give you all the combinations. Um, as you can see right here in the beginning of this, they're saying that truly not ready for the Steedles quite yet. And I've found that to be true, even though I can make it work, and you can get it to work, says updated 1017. So you know, I haven't seen any patches come out, fixing anything, but you can make it work. But I would just say it works much better on the 1.5 and 2.1 models at this time. But back to it, once you do, make a clone of the checkpoint, and you let it go through its little output. And it'll take some time, depending on your machine. You'll get a profile down here, like the deliberate that we're gonna take a look at here in a moment. And I was able to open up the resolution from 512 to 7 to 68. So you can kind of play around in between that. If not, if it's set like, say, one of these Excel models that I was able to train, or you know that when I got to work, but like the, the juggernaut here, it's locked into the 1024. So you have to keep your resolution. You can't move around and change it to a portrait or landscape. You have to kind of stay within that resolution once you do get the model trained. So these are just the profiles after you have trained. And like I said, the 1.5 models that I've messed with seem to work the best. And they're the easiest to show off the speed increase. So if we go back over here, and we have none on now, on a deliberate three. Little prompt basic settings 27 no styles. We run it, the last time we had 8.6 seconds on this. And we've got 8.9 seconds on this. Does vary depending on the resolution. But you know, for an overall baseline, we're gonna run with 8.9 or 9 seconds. We'll do one more.
And this is without the RT. Okay, 8.9 seconds again. So let's go put on the RT cologne. Instance here on deliver at 3 okay. Now we have the RT mode going on. We're gonna render the same thing, same settings. On the first load it, it does kind of take a second longer to switch, but okay. So 10 seconds, yeah. It was slower than the previous Nun RT, but let's give it another shot. There we go 5.7 so 5, 9 you get the idea it's half of or almost half. Pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty nice nice image there. And we are running with a 1.5 models, but let's hit that again. Let's go to the third because, yeah, it takes I guess like the second or third, just to get it kind of primed up to where it would be, giving you the speed benefits of 5.6. Mixed with your settings and stuff, so now we could push the steps, but we are getting a speed increase from not having the RT mode on 5.6. Let's push that up to say 50. Yeah, leave it there for that one. So we were what? 5.6 now we threw 30 more steps at it. And we're at 12.4. So we're gonna switch it off again. And we'll leave the 50 steps on and hit it with that. Non-RT configuration. 12.4 is what it has time to beat. And I think with a lot of the Nvidia stuff that gets installed with the toolkit, it helps overall. The performance of your setup. Obviously, in RT mode, you're getting a bit of a boost. So 21.4, let's try again. And that's where I say, the RT stuff kind of starts to shine when you are running in higher resolutions and higher steps 2020 like i said this is a 1.5 model so let's go ahead and switch it back i believe we are getting we're at 9.5 or 10 seconds on this particular step Always give it to the first. It kind of gets into RT mode, so it's probably a little slower on the first, after you switched over. I haven't said that 15 times yet like 16 seconds, so it's still faster than 20 seconds but now let's go. under 12 yeah and that's with 50 steps so the other one was 20 this is 12 so you can see about you know 40% almost 50% speed of double the time. Then you could slam just 100 at it. Think I had it. Like 14 seconds when I was doing this earlier.
23. Not bad, but like I said, depending on your system, and obviously if your card has more VRAM than mine. 12 gigs of VRAM in this RTX 30, 60 that I am running then yeah, your performance, but I would say resolution like, we can take the height off here and go down to 512. And run it and obviously, you know the lower the resolution, the lower amount of steps, you're gonna gain more feedback. but still at 100 steps. 14 seconds, there we go. That's why I'm saying different resolutions. You're gonna get different speed ratings and normally it. You know I would push this up to 14. Fourteen right there even pushing up the CFG. Fourteen seconds so and we can take it off take off the TRT. And so you can see it's gonna differ. Depending on your settings. But if you can get it installed right. And have the option. And you're running 1.5 to 2.1 models. It's definitely a nice little speed increase, cause it gives you the chance to bump up your, your steps and maybe resolution and do it faster. Now I could get dangerous here and, and try to totally switch over into, um, an XL model, but I think that really does take. The, um, start up. You really need to. Choose the medium RAM. If you're on a video card, that is, less than 16 gigs. You know between 8 gigs and 16 gig. For the Stexel models. You probably wanna, choose this so that it can actually work and you won't. Get some of the errors that you will experience, possibly, if you don't. And then the other thing I'm running is no half buy. Which it's for, you know. Anime diff, and some of the other. Deform and some of the other things. It helps run some of those things a bit smoother. And creating images through image to image, whatever. It's been a cool little tweak so. But to run the Excel models. I would have to restart. Put it in this mode, medium RAM. And then I would be able to do the RT with the Excel model, without it, crashing or just giving a bunch of black screens. Just a heads up on that. So, yeah, Tensa RT for this long-winded, supposedly short, conversation about the Tensa RT plugin. Very cool to get a little speed up to try the RT. Stuff out and become familiar with more of the NVIDIA technology. That can help you and your workflow a little bit. If it doesn't, you know, just totally blow up your machine and fuck up your installation. So to take heed. I guess I should have said that in the beginning, you know. Be careful. Don't screw your stuff up. That's why I try to keep everything simple and and not to many extensions. And you know, even if you don't use extensions, you'll find yourself using them. Go ahead and disable them and turn them on whenever you need to use them just to keep less startup and less things going on to, to help your machine out or perform better. So yeah, I think I will stop there and see if I even keep this video. But thanks for stopping by and learning about Tensa RT. Give it a try yourself. You know choose a model up here 1.5 preferably. Leave it on default hit export default engine. It'll take some time. 
And then once it's done, you'll have a little profile here. Stick with it, stay within your profile resolutions. And then you know. Do your own little stop watching. All right, guys, well, once again, you all are the best for stopping in. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging in there and my half as videos where I try to bring some info across in a somewhat decent form, even if I am using AI technology. It's all about the fun, right? Till next time, stay safe.